Yo, what is up guys? Happy 2019 and we are here with another year of some king starting it off with the week 10 predictions for the obviously the week 10 matchups, duh. Um the announcements this week and the all-star game was a success. As you guys can see, it's already fucking uploaded, so there's that, right? And uh, this month's all-star game is going to be held up to the King of King champions. Because, you know, last year, or last week's, well, and last year's, <laughs> uh, no, alright. Last month's um, all-star game was in the hands of the 2v2 champion. So, January is King of King. Next month is Rear Drive champion. We'll have Lujo Lover and so forth. Those are the only announcements I have for today. Other than, obviously, the predictions, which we're going to jump into right now. As we have Beast Carbon and Shifu. In their first matchup as a team, they will be going against Aleski and Top Gear Tim in any class match to see who faces the 2v2 champions in week 11. Now, 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 Beast Carbon is making his return to 2v2s. Um, he did one a few weeks ago with Bash, but this is the one that he actually is probably practicing for. And, you know, he gets a, uh, you know, a real, I don't want to say a real partner, I don't want to say that, but you know what I mean, like, it's a partner of his choosing because those two were kind of just thrown together. But, uh, yeah. And then we have Aleski and Tim. They've been partners for about a month now. And I, I'm i going to say they come up with the victory here. And I'm going to say it's going to be probably a, only a 20-second win. Probably just a 20-second win. If both of the teams are putting the runners as the runners that I think they'll be using, then, yeah. About a 20-second victory for Team Aleski. And, uh... But it will be a great debut. This has the potential to be the match of the month, even though the month just be fucking gun. That's just that should just tell you how good these four competitors are, and um, being teamed up with each other is definitely gonna fucking help as well. I mean, Tim's going against Beast in rear wheel drive. So is Aleski. It seems like that's a little tiny league rivalry. I don't want to say a real rivalry because they're in the same club, but. As far as people that go against each other a lot, Beast and Aleski have met a lot in the region in the recent matchups. But yeah, I see Aleski's team's gonna take that W. Let's go over to the off-road championship, as I will be will be defending it against Chaos, Dude, and Camillo in C-class mud kickers. Now let's start from the bottom up. I try to remind myself to do this every week. Sometimes I forget, but fourth place. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna say, Chaos gets fourth fourth place just because of the map. I really don't think he likes this map. I don't blame him. It's kind of the reason why I chose it because I know a lot of people don't like it. But uh, I fucking I hate it. It's probably my worst map. Um, you know, opinion wise. But I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> Cause why the fuck not? And why the fuck not? I have C class two weeks in a row. Whenever when is that gonna happen? Never again. That's not the jam. But yeah, fourth place, I'm going to say Chaos. Third place, uh, damn, it's hard, but I'm going to say Camillo. Second place, I'm going to give that to Dude, and I do think I can come. Mm, I don't know, actually. I don't know. The car I have built for it, It's it was doing good when I first built it, but now I don't know if I want to use it. And then I am not really good when I have to use a last-minute car, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my predictions around. I'm going to say Dude comes out with the victory here. I'm going to get second place by about mm, 30 to 20 seconds, I see. But I say, I think Dude can come out with the victory in this one. He was very close in the C-Class match last week. And this one is definitely going to be more of his terrain, his kind of uh, matchup, his style of play. So, yeah, he might come out with the victory. I, say, I see it happening. Let's go to the 2v2 matchup now. We got me and Trio. We're using our rematch for the 2v2 championships. We're going to go against Dundee and Six God. Now, last week, we uh, defended our championship. Our championship sucks. Ah, I can't fucking speak. We defended our championships successfully against Aleski and Tim. But we did not do the same against Six God and Dundee. It's funny because I thought it would have been the other way around. But yeah, we uh, came up short against them. That X-Class match was was fucking gruesome. But I do think me and Trio can pull 
some shit off this time around and get our championships back. Um, I think we can, but do I think we will? Mm, it's hard to say. You know what? I'm going to predict that they come out with the victory again. I think that Dundee's just going to he's gonna run his ass off. Well, that's if he's running it, of course. And then, you know, he's going to take off from there. He always does. If you guys watched last week's match, with, with Dundee, if he gets too far ahead of you in time, then he basically has won the match already. We did it once, me and Trio, in the S1 match, but... In the higher class matchups, I see that their team can get the W again. And that 2v2. Obviously, it's S2 this time. And uh, it's Rail Yard, obviously. Uh, rear Wheel Drive. We have Christian choosing S2. So we're seeing the return of the S2 class in Rear Wheel Drive. As Christian defends his championship against Bash, Hologram, and Hunterberg. It's the first time Bash will be in real drive. Um, Hologram, the most improved player of last month. So, anything can happen here, but let's start from the bottom up. Fourth place, I'm going to say... Hmm. I'm going to say Hunterberg gets fourth. I'm going to say Bash gets third. Uh, Hologram second, and I'm going to say Christian wins this one. I'm going to say Christian... The gap between Christian and Hologram first and second will be about a minute and a half at least. I just, I think Christian has too much experience in real drive to let this one slip through his fingers. Don't get me wrong, Hologram is great, but he's been doing a lot of low class stuff recently. A lot of low class stuff, so jumping right back into S2 is gonna, might be offsetting, off putting, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna say Christian is gonna have the advantage there obviously he has the advantage because he has a car built ready and he chose the map well chose the class sorry and yeah i'm gonna say that christian wins it and holds his championship for another week at least then we go to the king of king championship this is the first time that we're gonna see b class played in the league and i think that is going to be all classes played there was a class played at one point i believe there was wait was there a class yeah there was a class yeah there was an off-road a class match played i think it was week two um we had d class last week we have c last week and this week um s1 obviously s2 and next and any so yeah this is the first time we're seeing b class pulled out it's being pulled out by dundee who will be facing off against Omar E, Charlie, and somebody who's making their debut, Mr. McChicken. I'm just going to call you Chicken, though, because McChicken sounds a bit cringe, and I do not want to keep saying that throughout these videos. So, yeah, it's going to be B-Class for the King of King Championship. Fourth place, I'm going to say Chicken. Um, Chicken, um, you might not have seen the, pre the previous videos, but I really hate predicting when someone that I don't know I hate making a prediction when someone I don't know is in the match because I don't know how you play so it's kind of wrong to say you come in fourth place but I do know how the other people play and there are everyone in this league is very very great I don't want you to get discouraged if you do come in fourth just stick with it um, you know you gotta you gotta lose eventually you gotta lose to eventually you get some wins under your belt that's just what I feel like but uh it's not impossible, but yeah. Fourth place, I'm going to say Chicken. Third place, I'm going to say Charlie. Second place, Omar E. And I'm going to say Dundee comes out with the victory in this B-class matchup. By about, uh, I'm going to say by about, uh, two minutes. I'll say a two-minute victory he'll get. He, he knows how to play. All right. Dundee was the player of the month in November. He would have been last month as well, probably not for the 2v2 loss, so he is definitely one of the top two players in this league. You're not going to beat him easily. But uh, yeah, those are my predictions for this week. Thank you guys for sticking around, for being in the All-Star game, even if you weren't in the All-Star game, for just being in the league in general. Um, Six God, my dude, I don't know if you're watching this, but if anyone is watching this, whoever is watching this, 
six god has been thinking about leaving the league i've already had joey leave it i do not want to have all these good players leaving the league because then we're just gonna get smaller and smaller and we're not gonna have you know a lot of good players in the league so if you guys can just try to ask six god to stay in the league try to even if you can convince joey to make a return to the league that'd be interesting right right so yeah that'd be your homework for today try to get those two niggas back in the league <laughs> Uh, that's all I got for you guys for right now, though. I will see you guys later, and have an amazing week 10. Bye.